Hi, um, in this video I'm going to explain um, kind of the steps of doing this coin problem on homework 10. Um, I'm going to, my numbers are probably slightly different than yours, uh, but I'll explain the process and then um, you can practice with your numbers. Okay. Okay, sorry there was a weird pause. Um, I got a phone call, so I had to stop and take it. Okay, so, sorry, I forget exactly where we were. But here's our problem. It says, suppose certain coins have weights that are normally distributed with a mean of 5.202 grams and a standard deviation of 0 0.76 grams. And it tells us that a vending machine is configured to accept those coins with weights between 5.092 grams and 5.312 grams. Okay, again, your numbers might be slightly different. So part A says, if 300 different coins are inserted into the vending machine, what is the expected number of rejected coins? Okay, so here we're talking about, oops, an expected number, don't worry, I'll bring up the calculator when we need it. Now remember, expected value, that's the same as a mean. And to get the mean, we're going to take the probability times the number of coins. And you may have seen this as NP before, but PN will be the same thing. So here our N is 300, but we need to figure out what our P is. Now, to find P, we have to use the information in the beginning of the problem. Now, it tells us it's a normal distribution, that they're normally distributed. And that's where we're really going, that's what's going to help us. Now, it also tells us that the mean is um, 5.202 and the standard deviation is 0 0.076. So we're on our calculator, we're going to do normal um, CDF. And then we're going to do our mean, 5.202, comma, the standard deviation, 0 0.076, the starting point, so what we want them between 5.092, and then our ending point, 5.312. Okay, so let me bring up the calculator. Let me move this so we can see that. Okay, so we're going to do, turn it on, obviously. That's just old stuff. Um, we want a distribution, so we're going to hit second and then the virus button that says distribution. And then we want number two, normal CDF. That means the normal, and the C just means continuous. Um, so here, if yours just as normal CDF at the on the calculator, you'll put this in just like I have it. Here we're going to put our lower limit, 5.092. And then our upper limit, 5.312, our mean, 5.202, and our standard deviation, 0 0.076. Okay, and then we'll hit enter for paste. Okay, it actually looks like, sorry, I was thinking of this backwards. So if yours didn't doesn't lead you to that screen, you're going to put your lower limit, so 5.092, then your upper limit, 5.312, then your mean, 5.202, then your standard deviation. In that order. And the order does matter. So so um, when you do this, you're going to do lower limit, upper limit, your mean, and then your standard deviation. Okay, sorry about the confusion, I just haven't done it in a little while. Okay, so then we'll hit enter, and there we get our probability. So our probability of um, any coin, any one coin, being within those two limits was point, let's get four decimal points. Well, you can actually just keep it there, you know, but it's about point eight five. Two, two. Now we want to multiply that number by 300. So to get the most accurate answer, if you just hit times, it's going to take that answer, what you just got, times 300. That way you don't have to worry about putting in the right decimals or whatever. And hit enter. And we see that the expected number of rejected coins is now whole coins rejected here. Um, and we want to round to the nearest integer, so here we, our rejected number of coins would be 256. 
So our answer for this first one would be 256. Okay, let's go to part B. So part B says if 300 different coins are inserted into the machine, what's the probability that the mean falls between those limits? Now here, we're doing um, a normal where we've got a normal distribution, but where instead of just one coin we're inserting, we're inserting all 300 at the same time. So here, this is where our mean, we're still gonna do normal CDF, and we're gonna do our lower limit, 5.092, and our upper limit, 5.312. Here, our mean doesn't ch change. So the mean for the problem was 5.202. But our standard deviation, the 0 0.076, we have to divide by the square root of 300. So remember, when we're doing more than one thing, we divide by the square root of our n. So if we want to get that number, 0 0.076 divided by the square root of 300. So 0 0.0044. Okay, so then you'll put that in your calculator to get that probability. Okay, so I'll let you figure out part C on your own and let me know if you have any questions.